Once upon a time, there were three dinosaurs. There was Papa Dinosaur. Hey, I don't have any arms. Help! Mama Dinosaur. Oh, it's okay, honey. I'll be your arms for you. And some other dinosaur who happened to be visiting from Norway. Seriously, I'm this small. Seriously, seriously, seriously. Oh, come on, fine. One day, for no particular reason, the three dinosaurs made up their beds. Really? I gotta sleep in a little pink bed? It's okay, Norwegian dinosaur. Positioned their chairs just so. Really, guys, seriously, my rear end is bigger than that. And cooked three bowls of delicious hot dogs with different toppings. There was ketchup, sauerkraut, and another sauerkraut. Dibs on the ketchup. Oh boy, said Papa Dinosaur in his loud, booming voice. It is finally time to leave and go to the, uh, someplace else. Sure hope I can get there without arms. Yes, continued Mama Dinosaur. I sure hope no innocent little succulent child happens by our unlocked home while we are, uh, someplace else. Then the other dinosaur made a loud noise that sounded like a big evil laugh. But was probably just a polite Norwegian expression. Seriously, now I have to be polite too? The three dinosaurs went someplace else and they were definitely not hiding in the woods. Sure enough, five minutes later, a poorly supervised little girl named Goldilocks came traipsing along. La, 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 Just then, the forest boomed with what could have been a dinosaur yelling, Gotcha! But I'm pretty sure that was just the wind. Another loud noise was immediately followed by another loud noise that sounded like, Be patient, Papa Bear. The trap is not yet sprung but that could have been a falling rock or a squirrel. Either way, Goldilocks was not the type of little girl who listened to anyone or anything. Nope, it's true, I don't. For example, Goldilocks never listened to warnings about the dangers of barging into strange, enormous houses. So as soon as Goldilocks came across a strange and enormous house, she barged right in. What can I say? I'm fearless. Inside, Goldilocks immediately smelled the three hot dogs. Mmm, said Goldilocks. Those hot dogs smell delicious. If only I could get all the way up there on the counter. Oh, wait, I guess I can. They put a table just for me. She saw those three hot dogs. The first hot dog was too hot. But she ate it anyway because, hey, it's a hot dog. The second hot dog was too cold. Ah, we need a microwave. But who cares about temperature when you've got a big bowl of chocolate? I mean, I mean hot dogs. Yeah, it's not chocolate pudding, Mandy. It's hot dogs. Sorry about that. Okay. The third bowl of hot dogs was just right. But Goldilocks was on such a roll now she hardly even noticed. Goldilocks was stuffed like a corn dog 
which, by the way, are totally not the favorite things in the world for hungry dinosaurs. Yes, it is. Shh, it's not our time yet, Papa. Oh, sorry. Tired and groggy, Goldilocks noticed three chairs in the living room, so she walked over to the kitchen. The first chair was too hard. Ouch! The second chair was too low. I feel like I'm sleeping. The third chair was, well, it was a little too small. Seriously, does anyone have a rear end that can actually fit in that little chair? Ugh. So she decided to hike over to the bedroom. When she got there, hey, hold on a second, I gotta climb upstairs. Sorry, Goldilocks. When she got there, she noticed that the beds were also gigantically big. What is going on here? The, groaned the exhausted girl. The bears that live here must be nuts. Just then, the room filled with a loud booming noise that was either a passing truck or a dinosaur gloating. Ha ha, a few more minutes and she'll be asleep. Delicious little corn dog girls are yummier when they're rested. Now, even a little girl who never listens to anyone or anything heard that. I heard that. Goldilocks took a moment to stop and think. Hmm, which is longer than what she normally does. Wait a minute, she said. This isn't a bear's house, it's a... <gasps> it's a dinosaur house! Say what you like about Goldilocks, but she went out as fast as she could and jumped out the window. Ah! Oh, wait, you don't fit. Ah! Um, <laughs> Goldilocks. Whoopsie. There you go. Just then, a loud plane flew by. Or else it was three dinosaurs. Hurry, said the mama. Now, said the papa. <laughs> said the Norwegian expression for chewy corn dog time but they were too late. Goldilocks was gone, and all that was left in the house were three disappointed dinosaurs. The end. And the moral is, if you ever find yourself in the wrong story, leave. And the moral for the dinosaurs is, <laughs>